Hello everyone, it's Adam here from Mega Junction, and I'm back today with another layout update. So let's see what I got done today. So as you might be able to see here, there is a structure. Now this is the cover for my old um, staging yard on the other layout. It's just, just a curve. To fit the uh, double curve track that used to go there. Now I'm, I've took this down in the hope that I can salvage some of it. Now, as we know, I need a tunnel portal on my railway so I'm hoping I might just be able to take this out and update it a bit, make it look a little bit better see what I can do there and I'm also going to need some more brick to go on the something like this with the bit at the bottom here to go on the bottom of platforms now there might be some other brick paper left over from when I originally made this so I might be able to use that instead as I'm planning to scratch build the um, platform so Bushes, I'm going to reuse them. I don't see why not. Um, I don't see the point in going out and buying a whole new bag of bushes when I've got hundreds in two different colours already on this old piece, which I can mix and match for the new layout. <laughs> the second box of stuff that I managed to find up in the loft. And I believe this is what's left of my scenery. Greenery, sorry. So we've got some light green scatter. Uh, got some more bushes. Got some brown scatter. As well as some very dark green scatter. And we've got a load of cheapo trees. And I think think, I mean they don't look too bad, I can't imagine I'll be using them because there isn't really much room on the layout for greenery, but I could use some of the smaller ones and you can upgrade these by covering them in PVA and then just dipping them in this stuff, but that just depends on how much of that I have left after the greenery, because again, on the layout we've only got a couple, we're going to have a green section here by the tunnel entrance and a green section somewhere along the front here but I can't imagine there'll be any room for something like trees but it is good to know we have them I've also got some gravel which could come in handy because I'm not entirely sure how to ballast points so I could see if I can use some of this or scavenge some more off the original layout now that one that looks shocking goodies from up in the loft. Right, there's a controller. I genuinely don't know if this works or not. And since I sold all my trains, there is literally no way of testing whether or not this works. And judging by this transformer, I don't have very high hope. Uh, this is my mate Matt's originally. So I might take that tape off and see if that is still usable. I also don't have a proper track connector, so it could be interesting to see whether or not this is actually usable. But if it is, then that's amazing. Um, there isn't anything else in here. There's a spare wagon body. I mean, that might come in handy. There's another tree, and there's a load of PVA, which definitely will come in handy. And you'll find out why in either this update or the next one along. Oh, right, well there's the wagon body, but that's all snapped, so none of that is, well, we've got some useful stuff in there, so that is good news. Here is some cardboard with some weights on, pretty cool stuff, 
let me just show you what is going on here. Alright, so what this is here is my baseboard. Now you might be thinking, what the hell? But, believe it or not, there's a single coronavirus going on and you can't really just go out and get wood. So what I'm using is Budget Model Railways method, which I will possibly link in the description, if I remember. Um, and that is just PVA gluing a bunch of corrugated cardboard together. Um, and it is quite sturdy. As you can see there, it isn't bending. I have still got a few layers to go on. And there is obviously more work to do in it. It does still need to dry. So I will show you uh, how I do this. Um, and obviously there will be a slightly better version in... Um, Project Model Railways video. So what we want to do is cut up some corrugated cardboard. Don't know how quality this stuff is, this is just Amazon packaging. I mean, the video I watched, I think they're using high quality stuff, but I'm just going to have to make do of this because there isn't really much choice. So, yeah, you want to cut it out to size so it roughly fits with the rest of the size of the baseboard and obviously it can just be cut out later on if it is too big. Uh, that is the first step for this. Next up you're going to want to get down some PVA glue. Then you're going to want to spread it out and for this I just used another bit of cardboard and I've now covered in PVA. And next you're just going to want to put the cardboard on and just press it down a few times. And uh, yeah, I'll repeat this for a couple more layers, leave it to dry, and well, tidy up the edge and see how they made that look acceptable. Probably using a saw, I guess, to get it all the same length. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the progress so far on the baseboard. Okay, right so the baseboard has been drying overnight. And it's actually quite solid. Um, there isn't any bend at all. I'm still going to put a couple more layers um, because it bends the other way. But that's because that isn't particularly structurally sound. So I'm still going to add on a few layers before I tidy it up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it does work. Like that is solid. Um, and I don't think that's it's not going to bend. So yeah, I mean, if you're short on wood. Um, cardboard. <laughs> okay, so some issues have just occurred to me about using this. The cardboard, as it is right now, isn't actually flat, as you can see. Um, that's wobbling up and down, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. That I might just end up sanding it, I guess. Um, but <sighs> there is going to be cork underneath the track, so I'm hoping that that's all going to be okay. Another thing that cardboard might not be so good at is putting scenery on, because I can imagine that um, they would warp, wouldn't they? So I'm going to check back on Budget Model Railways videos to see how they did their scenery, because I'm pretty sure cardboard, you put more glue on it, that's going to start warping. There are some bits of damage here and there, but I think that's all doable. And as you can see, there's a couple buildings that I found that are placeholders. That one might stay, but that's going to be replaced by a proper platform. And the final issue that I found was that is I need to make like a small extra part of the baseboard um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do that but uh, we'll figure it out so I might have to add another layer on the top here and then one on the bottom and then a load more in the middle just so this is attached because this is all supposed to be permanent this bit here um, so yeah unless I end up deciding not having a point and just having two power tracks here but I doubt that's what I'll do. So yeah, uh, that is the update uh, for today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed. And as you can see, we are kind of getting somewhere with the layout. So thanks so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. And uh, be sure to stick around for more videos just like this one. Cheers, guys. <laughs>